A simple fact about the LGBT, homosexual, transgender, sodomite, whatever no, uh, other letters of the alphabet they have in their already extensive alphabet community, uh, their acronym. I mean, they have so many different letters now, it's hard to keep track of them. But the, thing, the simple fact about them is that they're implacable, they're never satisfied. And this is shown by the countless examples. The best one is obviously uh, Target pulling, just pulling back some of their merchandise and getting them threats by these gay activists because of that. Because it was never about two consenting adults doing their thing in the bedroom. It was about basically taking over society, the overhauling of straight America, as the um, one uh, one way to put it, essentially, is, is, is that, basically, overhauling of straight America. But essentially, uh, just it was never about two consenting adults, it was about forcing conformity. I'll put it that way. You see that in examples of the baseball players or the uh, hockey players refusing to wear the pride bands, armbands, or, or refusing to adorn the gay symbols on their bodies, you know, uh, and now their lives are being ruined, they're being called for, you know, being kicked out of the team for that, you know. Whatever happened to live and let live? Whatever happened to freedom of choice and freedom of conscience? Because it was never about that. It was about, that was the guise, the ruse they put on, but it was about forcing acceptance. So now, it's no longer about two consenting adults. You now must adorn their symbols on your body, or else you're now somehow oppressing them. You know, and it's this eternal victim mentality—it's it's just they're always being persecuted, no matter how. You know, no, no matter the fact that I mean, despite the fact that the government of America, the government here in Canada as well, is pushing Gay Pride Month, the homosexual, transgender you know, community, so-called community, is still being oppressed, apparently. It's still some kind of threatened and oppressed minority, even in a country that forces it by the state, where you can get fired and, and even thrown in jail. Like here in Canada, you can actually be arrested for speaking against the, the uh, homosexual or saying something offensive about homosexuality. You can actually be arrested for uh, preaching outside the gay pride marches. You know, but somehow they're oppressed in a nation where essentially there's no free speech to speak against them. It's a bunch of garbage. It's this eternal victim mentality, which I'll probably cover in another video, but no amount of pandering, this shows that no amount of pandering is is enough for them. No matter how much they're always wanting more, they're always being persecuted and there's always more rights they supposedly need. You know, it's a bunch of garbage. That's why it's it's pointless to try to even bother pandering to them because it's, it's, it's a lost cause, I'll put it that way target the kind of threats they've been getting have shown that so i wanted to point that out may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.